your career has taken you all over the world. You've seen places as a journalist that, you know, long running. Anything stand out in particular for you? Some maybe three highlights? Yeah, um, when the hostages were taken in Iran in 1979, I was on the assignment desk at ABC News, so I had been the guy that had to call everybody up at home and make them come in, because it was in the evening, and I had to call this this young guy that worked on the uh, State Department beat, this Ted Koppel guy. So I called him up and I said, why don't you come to work? And then, you know, the Who Knew Nightline became, uh, you know, a, a forever thing. So that was a big moment. The, the war in uh, Nicaragua and El Salvador, those were big moments for me. It was a, it was, um, a, you know, a real firsthand taste of extreme violence from people against people. It was uh, something that will stay with me forever. Um, and I would then say that, um, you know, because I wasn't here during 9-11, I was overseas. And, uh, but I would say that the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina also probably affected me very deeply. So those are the three things in my lifetime that if I look back, I'd say, I mean, I could say, you know, seeing Johnny Cash live for the first time, but right. I didn't, no. you know. Right. <laughs> um, this year, you had a panel that you kind of like constructed based upon your knowledge in the industry, where things are headed. Let's talk about that. So I have a, a theory that I call um, the next new normal. And the next new normal is, this, is the next phase in media from what would be called the new normal. So in the, the normal was broadcast television. The new normal became things like Amazon and Netflix. What is the next normal? So we, we have a group of, of experts, the head of uh, innovation from the Turner Networks, Jesse Redness is with somebody who joins us all the time, Peter Naylor who runs sales at Hulu, somebody who joins us all the time. Uh, we had uh, David Adler from uh, um, uh, Laduma VR, so a heavy VR, AR, MR company. We had Anastasia Lang who was a data scientist and a neuroscientist who has talk, talks about how data affects creative. So it's a and it's a changing group and we do these panels all over the world and we discuss whatever is the appropriate thing to discuss that's making the business take stand up and look and go let's we need to know about that and what were some of the takeaways from that what was the consensus any themes that came through from that yes so um, there were highlights that were very highlights so we walked away from it saying that uh, ATSC 3.0 is a new technology that uh, that allows for broadcasters to have wider bandwidth and be able to have two-way communication. A lot of the stuff you can do on the internet, uh, feed, download, operate things in your internet of things, work it all with, with voice. That's an important thing that's coming. Uh, another important thing that's coming is, you know, one in six, mil one in six Americans uh, has a it's reported has a smart speaker, so that could be the Amazon Alexa or it, it could be the Sonos, which is not really a smart speaker. It doesn't really act both ways, uh, or the new Google device. Um, so there's a business in that uh, because smart speakers are in, and now they have smart videos. So Google makes a new one or Amazon makes one. It's, it's TV that's always on, basically, that you can say it to it what to do, and it will do it. Uh, and it will also turn on your coffee maker and turn your lights on and off and uh, open the garage door and lock the locks and, uh, and, and you know, wake you up in the morning and, and uh, you, know, turn, you know, turn some electric device on that you would normally turn on, give you an alarm. There's a lot of things that these things do, and eventually they're all going to be a very important part of, the, of our entertainment and personal movement landscape. So those are two things that um, that, uh, that were real big. And the third thing that came out of the panel basically was a negative, and that is that um, nobody really sees VR as something that's going to have scale any time in the next two years. Okay, and why, why would you feel that that would be kind of what's happening? Well, be in VR? Yeah. Because because the uh, uh, the adaptation of the hardware isn't isn't there yet, they're not okay. making enough goggles that matter. People don't like wearing the goggles because they're big and ugly. Maybe they'll like what uh, what um, uh, one company has done to make a pair of glasses that look very steampunk. They're kind of cool. Um, 
Kind of like the big cell phones back in the day. Remember a cell phone? You like when it first came out? It was like ginormous, right? I remember that. I had I had one. It was, you know, walking down the street holding that was like walking down the street with a suitcase up to your ear. Believe me. Anyway, uh, so um, you know, those were the three headlines that that we got. And you know, and I, I actually think the uh, the idea of a smart speaker and a smart TV is something worth focusing on in the industry. People are going to be getting content from it, sharing content with it, um, and getting recipes from it, and doing all those other things I said you could do with it. And I think that that's important. And that's going to be, who knows, that could be like as big as the toaster. It could be. One thing that I've always liked about you is that I do follow you on social media, uh, and we are friends, so it's 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 easy to follow what you're doing. And I look at you as kind of being that person that's um, expressing all of the cutting edge technology, and you seem like you're never afraid of it. It's like you embrace that new frontier, yeah. right? Well, there's you know? another, there's a reason for that. Okay. Because I buy it. Okay, that's just gonna say it. he's got every single gadget that there is. You go in his office and it's like Wismos gadgets, right? You do, and you engage in it, so you like it. Don't tell my wife. Okay. <laughs> Don't say a word. Okay. <laughs> but um, if, if even they, your cat uses technology, I have a, I have a chip that I'm embedding in him, so I'll know where he is at all times. Uh, so he, because um, uh, you know he, he gets away. I um, uh, I will go out and buy whatever there is that seems like I should go out and buy it. And so what makes me what's called a a uh, you know a, uh, an early adapter. There you go. Uh, and but I'm also probably an early abandoner because I have this box and inside this box are all these things that I no longer play with. The misfit toy box. Well, yeah. I wouldn't call them toys, but misfit maybe. <laughs> well, I thank you for spending some time with us. It's always wonderful to see you. Good to see and you too, um, so yeah, we'll be traveling together again. But uh, we hope you enjoyed this little intimate portrait here at Natby, and stay tuned for more on Live It Up. Live It Up.